What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about what a normal three ball progression looks like for me in league. Stay tuned after the intro. Alright, so one of the questions that I get asked a lot is what balls do I take to league and how do I know when to go to what ball? So that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a like, a subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date every time I drop a new video. 75% of my total views are coming from non-subscribers. So guys, please keep hitting that subscribe button. And if you guys like this jersey or any of the jerseys in my videos, you can head on over to logoinfusion.com, use my promo code LUIS, L-U-I-S, it'll get you 20% off your entire order. I am doing a giveaway for any Logo Infusion jersey up to $50 once we get to 1,000 subscribers. Currently at the time of recording, we are at 940. So just 60 subscribers away from giving away that jersey. All you have to do to be entered to win the jersey is like this video, leave any motive related comment below, and of course, subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you what my normal three ball progression looks like and why I went from one ball to another and what I look for to make that determining factor of when I'm going to switch balls. So in league, especially on a house shot, the one big thing I look for for the first ball out of my bag is control. There's going to be a lot of friction to the right, a lot of volume in the middle, and typically a lot of down lane reaction. So because of that, I want a ball that's going to be able to control the handle of that oil in the middle and not overreact in the friction. So the first ball out of the bag for me lately has been the tank blitz. To me, this is the ultimate control ball. It can handle the higher volumes and it never overreacts in the back part of the lane. The tank blitz has the gear core, which is one of our most popular cores ever. It has a RG of 2.48 and a differential of 0.034. So you're not going to get this big giant hooking core in the ball. You're going to get a ball that wants to be early and it's not going to flare a whole lot. The more the ball flares, the more hook potential it has. The cover on this ball, the Frixion Microcell Polymer, remember it's not urethane, comes out of the box at a 2000 grit finish. I usually keep mine between 3000 and 4000 just because there's not a ton of volume where I bowl league. If you're bowling somewhere where maybe there's a little bit more volume, you can keep it at that 2000, maybe even lower at 1000. The tank blitz for me lately has been the ultimate game one ball. Now, one of the big things that I look for into determining when I'm gonna ball change, especially from like the tank blitz, is as I chase the ball inside the pattern, you're gonna see the ball go through the pins and like deflect, like almost run over the nine pin spot instead of driving through or even going towards the eight pin. For me, once that happens, it's a clear tell that the ball, I'm in the wrong part of the lane now, and if I'm gonna keep chasing it inside the pattern, it's time to ball change. All right, so the next ball out of my bag is always going to be a ball that I can get left with and create a lot of shape with, something that's not gonna hook early, it's gonna clear the front and be nice and angular down lane. For me personally, the second ball out of my bag has been the Jackal Flash. And it's been a ball that I've been throwing a lot since I got it. And it's a ball that I have a lot of trust in, a lot of faith in, okay? The Jackal Flash has the Infusion HV Pro Reactive Cover and the Predator V2 Core. In 15 pounds, that has an RG of 2.47, a differential of 0.054, and an intermediate differential of 0.015. Now what that means for the Jackal Flash, the core, is that it wants to get into a roll early and be pretty smooth and it flares a lot. But because it has that Infusion HV Pearl cover, it's gonna make the ball get really far down lane and create a lot of angle. And I'll be honest, a lot of times when I get into the Jackal Flash, I very rarely even get into this third ball just because of how versatile the Jackal Flash has been. Now, one of the big things that I look for in the Jackal Flash to determine when I'm gonna change out of it into the third ball being that the flash is asymmetrical, it does have its limits because there's so much friction to the outside part of the lane. Once I start to see that jackal flash roll a little bit more forward in the back part of the lane, that's when I know that it's time to get out of that ball. Because when you're in a symmetrical ball, it tends to be a little bit more round off the corner as I get left, for me personally, obviously. The Jackal Flash, every once in a while, once I get too far left, can create a lot of angle. It tends to roll a little bit more forward. And to me, that's the clear sign that I need to get into a symmetrical pearl 
which is the third ball that we're getting into in this list. And then the third ball out of the bag for me has always been the same kind of bowling ball. It's always been a shiny, symmetric bowling ball. So it can be something like a Thrill, a Hydra, a Ripcord, a Supra, or for me, it's been the VIP. Basically anything that's really clean through the fronts, that's gonna create a lot of angle down lane for when the lanes start to blow up. The VIP has those magic numbers when it comes to that game three, game four ball. It has the quad fire core, which has an RG of 2.55, which is what we wanna see, something that's a little bit higher. And then a differential that's in that medium range and being at 0 0.043. This is a ball just like the Supra that's very clean through the fronts and it's going to create a lot of angle down lane. This is a really good option to go to once the lanes have been really blown up and they're hooking a ton. Before I take you guys out on the lanes, let me know down below in the comments what's your three ball progression look like. Thank you guys for joining me as we go through one of my normal three ball progressions. As always, I'm going to show you every single shot that I threw in this session. Today's video though is going to be a little bit different as I'm going to show you all my spares as well. Now I'm doing this to show you guys that I'm not this elite level talent. I'm just a normal bowler like you guys. I miss spares. Now the reason I'm showing you every single shot is because I believe this is the best way to compare bowling balls, to show you the good shots as well as the bad shots. Now the first ball out of the bag is one of the most important decisions that you can make because it's going to set the tone for how the night goes in the league, but it's also gonna set the tone as to how the pattern is going to break down for you specifically. For me, the first ball out of my bag lately has been the tank blitz. And the reason I choose the tank blitz as my first ball out the bag is because it offers the most control while also being able to handle the higher volumes of oil. Another big reason why I like choosing the tank blitz as my first ball out of the bag in league is because it lets me play the straightest out of every ball that I have so it lets me carve out like a hook spot down lane so that as I chase the ball left, I have a friction spot that I've developed to throw the ball into. I think it's very important that I say that the tank blitz is my personal first ball out of the bag or the benchmark ball. In our line, we have several different bowling balls that can fit into that benchmark ball. And what works for me may or may not work for you. Some other really good options that could be classified as benchmark balls in our line are like the Venom Shock, the Venom Recoil, the Ripcord Flight. Balls like that all have similar characteristics to the Desert Tank where they offer a lot of control on the fresh. My ultimate goal for this video is to show you guys what my three ball progression is and to give you guys an idea of what sort of shapes you should be looking for as you decide what balls work best for you in your league and for your game. Like I mentioned before, deciding what the first ball out of your bag is going to be in league is one of the most important decisions that you can make. In my opinion, the most important decision that you can make is knowing when to change balls and more importantly, what ball you're going to go to after the first ball. So for me, when I, when I go to ball change, I always wanna go to something that I know what it's gonna do, something that I have a lot of trust in, something that I have a lot of faith in. So for me, when I ball change from the tank blitz, it's almost always into the jackal flash and the reason it's the flash is because out of all the balls in our current line, the flash is the ball that I have the most trust in, the most faith in. It's probably my favorite ball that we have right now. Now, the reason it's one of my favorite balls in the current line is because of how versatile it is. It's a really good option on the fresh for me if the tank blitz is hooking too early or it's, it's rolling more forward in the back part of the lane, I can start with the jackal flash. But it's also really good in transition as I have to chase the pattern left. Knowing when to ball change isn't always an exact science. It isn't an exact, when this happens, I ball change. A lot of times you have to go with your gut. And like for me, as soon as the thought of ball changing pops in my head, I immediately ball change because you don't wanna give away too many shots with that thought in the back of your head of wanting to ball change. Now, as you can see from these shots, going from the tank blitz to the jackal flash was absolutely the right move and one can argue that I probably should have started with the Jackal Flash, but for the sake of the video, I am gonna throw all three balls. Now, if we were bowling for score, I would 100% stay in the Jackal Flash right now. I would not be ball changing into the VIP, but I wanna show you guys what my three ball progression looks like. And like I said earlier, that third ball can be a multitude of different balls. It can be the Thrill, the Hydra, 
the Supra, the Ripcord, or the VIP. For me, the Supra and the VIP are interchangeable. This probably should have been the Supra, just because the Supra is a little bit cleaner through the fronts and a little bit more angular in the back part of the lane. Basically, what I'm looking for out of that third ball in the bag is something that's gonna be very clean, that's not gonna wanna roll early, and then in the back part of the lane is gonna continue through the pins and not roll forward like some of these asymmetrical balls tend to do. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this kind of video and if you wanna see more like this in the future on other different patterns. But basically, these are the three balls that I take with me to league every single week. I take the tank blitz, the jackal flash, and then I either take the VIP or the Supra basically just whatever I'm feeling that day. I think the biggest advice that I can give you all for when deciding what balls to put in your bag for league is acquire as much knowledge as possible. And by that, I mean knowledge of your game, knowledge of where you're bowling, and the knowledge of what bowling balls you have. The absolute worst thing that you can do is ball change into a ball that you have no idea what to expect. For me, every single time I ball change, I draw a picture in my head of what this next bowling ball is going to do. I really believe that if you all start doing that, it will help you in your journey as it has helped me in my journey. As always, if you ever have any questions motive related or bowling in general, feel free to drop them down below in the comments or you can join the Motive Blue Facebook page. It's a community where we talk about bowling nonstop. Well, all right, folks, there's my three ball progression. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this video and if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Click right here to watch one of my other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time, guys.